All right, guys, just got back from Whirlpack STX 2024 Supplier and Training Expo. Had a fantastic time. Got some goodies. Wanted to kind of go over what my experience was there and uh, my first time teaching there. So kind of wanted to go over that with you and then go over the goodies. Let's get into it. So I've been to STX many times over the years. Whirlpack does that. Um, it puts this on once every two years. It is a huge... Uh, training event and expo so by expo meaning that all the suppliers that are in the automotive industry are there I mean this thing is crazy it's got it's a huge convention center full um, get two nights going through the expo and looking at all the cool stuff and tools and equipment and um, parts and get to talk to the actual suppliers and so it's a fantastic time uh, this was my first time teaching I gave two classes there so for those of you in the class leave a comment down below let me know what you thought Good, bad, or ugly, I'm, I'm, I want to hear it. Um, I had some fun teaching the classes. There was some great interaction there. And, um, it, you know, I was surprised at how, I knew Whirlpack, when they do these things, uh, they do a really good job with it. Um, I actually got a backpack, all the trainers. There's 200 trainers there. There's 3,400 technicians, and there's like 400 classes. So uh, I got there on Wednesday, got to hang out with a bunch of, a bunch of other trainers. We only get to see each other you know, once, uh, once in a while. And so it was great catching up with those guys. And I uh, got to see Andy. So those of you that, you know, know the, the TikTok channel, um, got to see Andy and hang out with him for a, a bit. And um, so that was Wednesday. Had a uh, instructor dinner Wednesday night. They, they had a great dinner. They gave out a bunch of equipment. They gave out, I think, over $100,000 worth of giveaways it was crazy what they gave out macbooks and different laptops and all kind of stuff uh and then they in the backpacks they gave us a bunch of stuff too so but we did that on <clears throat> on wednesday night they have an early morning thursday session that they train so it's a four hour uh session then they they provide everybody with breakfast then they have the training session for four hours then they provide everybody with lunch another training session thursday afternoon they do the same thing on friday so friday morning friday afternoon training then they have um, the expo uh, on Thursday nights, I want to say, and on Friday. And then on Saturday, they have morning and afternoon training. So it's a fantastic event. Uh, I did, uh, I took a couple of classes when I wasn't teaching. I was able to take a couple other classes and took some um, electric vehicle classes. Did one on Teslas from Seth Thorson from uh, LMV Bavarian. Uh, great guy, very knowledgeable. We're actually going to bring him down in June. We'll do a video on that. We're going to bring him down in June. We're going to start doing some, some uh, Tesla work. So I was able to get kind of involved in the Tesla stuff and talk to him and do the class. And so uh, I think that's going to be a, a good little thing for us. And we already do high, a lot of hybrid battery building and all that, but let's take it to the next level. And then I also did an electric uh, class, uh, EV class with John Kelly, who's a super smart individual. For those of you that are not familiar with him, that he's got a YouTube channel fantastic YouTube channel. The guy is brilliant. Um, we'll link his YouTube channel. It's Weber Auto. We'll link it down below. Uh, go check that out. Uh, the guy does more than just EV stuff. I mean, he'll, he'll, he has a six-part series on how to put U-joints in. The guy is definitely smart. So, um, But we had a great time there. Got some, some uh, I was surprised when I opened the backpack up what all was in it. We had some shirts, obviously, to train in, so they wanted us all wear the same shirts. We had some pullovers. Uh, and then we had some goodies in there. I didn't bring everything with me today. I left some of the stuff at the house, but um, just wanted to kind of show you what we got. Got my books here. So the isolation fault one from John Kelly. Uh, I did a leak detection and sealing solutions class. That was a really good class. Um, and Tesla, so Seth's class, great, great class. And then I did one on electrical test tools and application. Um, so that was a great one. Got a Hanks sticker. Um, so then I, because I did the high voltage classes, I wanted to, uh, we already have some uh, mega meters and all that, but I wanted to get some more just because we're going to start doing more and more of them. I bought some high voltage gloves. Like, you know, we've got the leather gloves. You just, I'm going to get a couple more of these just for the guys, just to kind of, you know, some of these, some of these electric vehicles, uh, when we're dealing with Priuses, which we mainly deal with, we're dealing with about, you know, between 200 and 300 volts, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong. But some of these electric vehicles that we're going to be dealing with, the the new uh, Tesla, I want to say the new Tesla Cybertruck, it's somewhere I think 800 or 1,000 volts on that thing. So 
we need to definitely be protected and uh, we're gonna dealing with some stuff that's gonna have some serious high voltage on it. So we're gonna we're gonna um, get some more of those and have them around where everybody can do it and uh, have them just in case. And then got a uh, so the John Kelly class. He had this as the one of the uh, testers for um, looking for isolation faults or insulation problems, things like that. Uh, when you've got either a positive or a negative high voltage leaking into the vehicle chassis. So that's for testing that out. And then he had this one too. So, you know, I'm a tool guy, so I got that one too. Um, I, didn't, I ordered these, these came in. I didn't get these there. I just ordered them and had, I actually ordered them while I was sitting in the class and had them shipped. They were sitting at the house when I got home. Um, and then the freebies, that, some of the freebies that were in the, uh, in the backpack got a little uh, scanner. We might give this away. Comment down below if you're interested in giving that and getting that, you know, maybe on TikTok we'll do that or something. I don't know. Yeah. Comment down below, let us know what you think. Um, but you know, it's cool, it's free. You know, that was cool for Altel to, to give that to them. Um, top Don had a uh, little top scan in there. So, you know, it was great of them to, I'm sure they donated that also. So, and then they also had the, uh, okay. Yeah, the infrared uh, camera, little deal for your phone, which we have these, and that's, uh, we know that's a good unit. So that's pretty cool to get that. Um, my favorite guy, that, my favorite thing that was in the backpack was a little L-ring guy. Pretty cool, we'll give it to the grandkids. Or maybe we'll set it around on toolbox or something. And then, you know, just some little knick-knacky stuff. Got some, some can openers and some keychains and little belt measuring tool. So for those of you that don't know, Continental has these, you can get these. Um, you need to get some of these. These are for testing, checking belts for wear. Uh, remember belts don't really crack anymore. We're looking more, they wear more like a tire and the grooves get wider and wider on a serpentine belt. So you need to have one of these for checking that. If you want a video on that, let us know. We'll, we'll maybe do a quick video on how to use this and what you're looking for. But uh, modern belts don't crack. So don't be looking for cracks anymore. You're looking for for wear on it. So I picked up one of these. I mean, we got a bunch of them. We might get some more of them. Uh, this is a little newer style to get our hands in it a little better. So, I mean, really that's about it. Um, we did, I did stop in and saw, um, for those of you that, that know, uh, TST technician training uh, seminars, I think it is, or TST training. I'm not really sure exactly what the TST stands for. But anyway, uh, G Trulia, uh, he's a great guy. Puts this whole thing together. Um, he's got it up in the Northeast. He's doing a training seminar on September 21st um, with breakfast, a whole day of training. He's going to do training. Ken Zanders, Pete Myers, some super smart guys. 50 bucks. 50 bucks for all day training. You're not going to get much cheaper than that. Um, that is sponsored by Dorman. So, you know, uh, I know a lot of you, whatever you think about that, but they are, they are, they do want some training. So, um, you know, check them out, go on there, sign up for that. If you live in that area, well worth 50 bucks. So, uh, anyway, that, uh, that's about it on that. I did get one other thing. So at the expo, um, like I say, there's every piece of equipment you could ever want there. And there's usually some good specials that go on at these things. Um, a lot of you saw the video on the Audi rear main seal leaking. Um, I wanted to get something with a little higher pressure. So I went ahead and while I was there, I talked to the red line people and um, we got this guy, I'll put it up here, you can see it. So this thing, they make a couple of different ones. This one is the lower, the lower high pressure one. Um, they make one that's basically for turbo systems and like diesels that I'll put at 25 PSI. I didn't need that. I was looking for this for more for um, engine oil leaks. I want to be able to put smoke in the crankcase and I only want to do it about two and a half to three PSI. This is reg you, know, you can regulate the pressure going into the system and um, it does it does evaps also but you definitely don't want to have high pressure in an evap system so this is for the high pressure side here and you can regulate it anywhere I want to say up from uh, zero up to I think 15 PSI on this one and that's more than enough for what we needed. It came with a nice, nice kit, uh, adapter kit that's got the bladders that I found out. For those of you that have these, in case you didn't know, because I didn't know until I was actually in that class giving it, and one of the students, I, I love it when, you know, I, I get something back from everything. 
Uh, they said these bladders are replaceable. I did not know that. I've been spending 150 something bucks on these things when they when they went bad. You can replace these bladders. There's like 22 bucks for two of them. It's crazy. So I'm like, really? I, I, those of you that were in the class that are watching this video, comment down below how I, how I reacted to that. I'm like, oh my gosh. I literally ordered one of these on Wednesday. I gave that class on Thursday and I'm like, my gosh. And I went and talked to the Redline guys. They're like, oh yeah, you can get those things. So they showed me how to replace it. Um, it also comes with this guy. So this is a little heavier duty. That one you pump up. I call it like the blood pressure deal. This one you actually hook the shop air and um, you can, it puts a little more um, pressure in it so it holds better. So nice little kit here. And we're gonna be definitely using this on some videos in the future and showing you guys. Um, my biggest thing for this was, you know, we, we run into a lot of vehicles with oil leaks and they have multiple oil leaks. And then you're like, oh, we need to clean it and bring it back and, and you'll clean it. We see this one's leaking or maybe the valve covers are leaking, but we can't tell if maybe the oil pan or timing cover. With this thing, we can put, we can put smoke in it and we can see what all the leaks are first time out. So that way we can go to the client and say, this is your leak, this is all your leaks, and we can get it all done at one time, or we can piecemeal it however they want to do it, but at least they know what all the leaks are before they spend money on any leak. So we're gonna be using this guy a lot, and we will be featuring it in some videos in the future. So anyway, I just thought that you know might be, you know, you guys might be interested in seeing this stuff and, and curious that what goes on in the in the industry with training and stuff. Um, this is one of the biggest training events that happens, like I say, every two years. Um, so it's always a good time. We really, we really like it and really appreciate you guys. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and leave some comments down below. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you think about this equipment. Do you want to see it in use? Um, you know, cause we, we would love to show you guys. So hope you liked it. See you in the next one.